Welcome back everybody to episode 8 of our Satisfactory Mega Factory build for update 4 and we are busy preparing for the update which will be released on the 16th of March and we've got a lot to get to or get through once again and without using that word you know which word I'm talking about we're gonna get to it for those of you who don't realize what that word is we're trying to avoid today it's so and mark my words that will be the only time or maybe not the only time that we use it in this video I'm I'm really adamant because it was highlighted last week just how much I say that word if I say the S O word we need like a mini like counter somewhere <laughs> <laughs> oh no yeah we should do like a i will give to charity like a pound for every time i say that word in this video okay no no bits you cannot edit in that word <laughs> you're probably wondering <laughs> what we're going to be doing today and the truth is that last week we we made a lot of progress on this wonderful little manifold for reinforced iron plates but we have no iron none here so <laughs> well that's one for the cookie jar which means we're going to be focusing on this today we're also going to be adding a wonderful little overflow system here i'm not quite sure how we're going to do it just yet really we should have raise this up rather than lowered it in fact that might be the solution and then we have the overflow system drop down and under to an awesome sink hmm i quite like that and the other big thing that i want to get sorted out today is doubling this up because we need power always more power i mean eventually all of this will be dedicated to the factory this whole space one massive power plant right right and if we get all of that done you're going to be asking what we're going to do next well one word modular two words modular frames and maybe more and maybe more five words modular frames and maybe more <laughs> well with that out the way it's time to get started where is my plinth we, we need like a little plinth here to like stand on to make me fit that, that's not what i wanted we need a little plinth here for me to stand on to make me feel important Ugh. this is important after our amazing little valheim run last week we went in and did a little bit in the back end to, to try and optimize it ready for this video and what i ended up doing was replacing everything with mark ii miners which means these are oversaturated this is oversaturated which means this is oversaturated actually that brings me to a good point you know i said that we'd be doing modular frames like these modular frames definitely not well planned <laughs> so we'll probably be doing something else other than modular frames probably but we do need more iron going over to the reinforced iron goodness me i've just done it again haven't i go on pop that in but thinking of other things that we can do instead mindless has just reminded me of these biomass burners which it's my plan to remove them all because obviously we're not going to need them if we have coal power plants and we're already prepping for update four because in our last guide we talked about how we could prep for update four and i've already got a little area dedicated to power storage i'm just hoping that these resources stay the same because i have these if we need batteries for power storage I'm screwed totally screwed but bringing it back to the iron we have this iron manifold of smelters this smart this manifold of iron smelters that's what the word we were looking for 
currently running at 180 iron ore per minute. And these are now producing 120 per minute. But we've got three buses going into that. So what we... <sighs> caught myself saying it! I caught myself saying it! Why? But the point is that if we overclock one of these by 50%, we can put all of the iron smelters here on one belt. And then the rest can be sent off to different areas of the factory. Why, hello there. <laughs> oh, he's doing like a Mexican wave. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Look what I found. That is going to be one of our viewers. They're going to be turned into a slushy of power. And that goes to Quiet Kaz. Quiet Kaz, you have been collected. You will be used in a miner. You will be forever remembered in the power slurpy. Yoink. Here we go. I appreciate everything you do for us. Quiet Kaz. This is you. We need signs. We need to have each viewer who becomes... Wait. Wait, what? Oh, is it when it's not in use it goes back to yellow? Of course. We need, like, signs in order to blazon each of the power slugs. <laughs> and the next thing that we need to do is to reorganize all of this. Which means... Ooh, I'm having problems with my mouse. Wait, what? There we go. Which means that we can do one of those wonderful little time lapses. didn't take long. We've got two lines running, but we still have two free, and I'm hoping to have them sent over to the iron plates over here. And it was mentioned that we have this space, and we were going to remove the biomass section, so why not fill that with iron plate production? Excellent idea! Can't remember who suggested that, whether it was Nickens or Mindless in chat. I think it was one of you two. Well, we're going to be sorting that out now, which means we've got to get rid of these pesky little things. Just make sure we have enough. We have enough! Shame. Would you look at that? We have our plate factory running. And one thing that I did want to mention is if you look at the power um, the power poles, I've, I've done a little thing. And by a little thing, if you look, they're all on their separate grid. So at the moment we have all the iron miners and all the iron smelters on one grid. We also have the modular frames on a separate grid the concrete all on a separate grid so that when switches come in for update 4 we can add a switch and then everything will be able to be switched on and off um, in that particular module. If of course you want to know all of my other tips then do make sure to check out my video 10 top tips for preparing for update 4. I'll put it in the top right hand corner now if I remember. If not I will slap myself on the wrist but the next thing that we need to do, now that we have this sorted, is to work on this. You can see how I'm bringing everything down. Well, I want to have the containers on that same level and then the overflow dropping down. And we will probably move these containers across a bit to give us a little bit more space to play around with in order for us to use the awesome sink and get 
those extra juicy coupons that we want for all the other things that we've yet to unlock. So that we can purchase all of these lovely... So we can purchase these lovely things, which are going to be super important when it comes to making sure our mega factory is super clean. And I did it again. I did it again. That word! That word! I hate that word. <laughs> oh, it wasn't recording. No! Guys, we weren't recording. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't skip too much. I'm going to have to look through my files and I need to stop this recording. Bye. Hey. So we have a problem. That's the problem. Red lights. More red lights. Yeah, there's no point me even like trying to explain. You know what's going on here. We're out of power. If we check the power, you can see I've, I've been trying to, to get it up and running. The theory is that if this is all fully saturated, then when we flick the switch, it should run, providing we disconnect this from the grid. So I've done it again. <laughs> when update four comes, we'll be able to place a switch box here rather than have to delete this. And then we can just module, like create modules for the factory. So it can turn various, should I just say that again? Let's just skip that, see what happens. No, still having problems, which means we're gonna head up to the power plant and sort that out now so that everything can finally run again. You may have noticed that we are back at the power plant and you can see that I have already extended um, by eight our coal power plants, but have also deleted our wonderful water extractors. I know, I know. Do not worry. Do not worry. They will be reconnected. But for the time being, I need to connect all of these. So if you do not like clipping, or I should say, if you do not like acceptable clipping, please look away for the majority of this section. Thank you. Because what we're going to be doing is placing the pipes through the glass foundations. I find that justifiable and acceptable. If you don't, I'm sorry. Pretend it didn't happen. But the way we do this is we will place the, the pipeline down first, like we've already done here, then add this on top, like so. And then we grab from the other side. Ooh, this could get messy. I've got to be very careful in the order. So for example, from here, we can then bring that up into there. And I find that justifiable. But I now need to do the same here. Because if I do this prior to replacing this, I won't be able to place this. As with quite a few games, it's the the order in which you place things that allows you to do things. And that's what we're going to be doing for this. Obviously, I do know that we're going to have a slight problem along here because we've got all eight along a single line. This isn't going to be 100% until we have the Mark II. But for now, let's get on with the rest of this so that we can get this running. E voila! This is pretty much the look that we're going to go for. And we will have either the coal inputs suspended or possibly along the middle but it won't be clipping through because that is unjustifiable clipping it's gonna look pretty good you can see we now have apparently <laughs> wait a second not all of the oh no there you go the power plants are now starting to come online which is fantastic at its current state it certainly isn't the prettiest power plant that we've ever done but we are working on it. This is just the start. And I must say, I am liking the way it's starting to develop, but it is still early days. I need to stress that. At first we had this power plant, but now this. And I must say it looks stunning with the glass foundations in my humble opinion. 
and that is going to provide us with another 600 megawatts for our factory which is getting ever bigger ever larger now you will mention that we're having a problem with the amount of liquids that are going to go through this pipe i am aware of that that is something we will be sorting out next week to a certain certain degree we're going to be doing some overclocking genius but it should be fine and with that all in order we can now reconnect this and if we're lucky would you look at that the world is alive again <laughs> oh look at everything moving it's like a mini ant farm i love it i hear you ask what did we do today well you can now see our reinforced iron plate facility running and it's looking beautiful we also upgraded our iron lines unfortunately they're not a hundred percent efficient at the moment but they will be eventually eventually they will be and we also redid oh wait a second someone has not finished this there's a problem here it's not running why is it not running because we disconnected it we'll be right back all we need to do is connect this to this and you can see it's now running perfect Ta-da! Look at that. Woo! Beautiful. Once it started running and we start using the storage, hopefully everything will start to run 100% efficiently again. But because there is a back backlog, that is why everything's going slowly. Just give it a bit of time, guys. But man, it's looking good. It's coming along nicely. But that is all we have time for in this episode. Which means, if you did enjoy the video, please do drop a thumbs up. And obviously, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And do remember that straight after this, if you're watching the premiere right now, we're going over to Twitch to record the next episode immediately after. Why not join us? Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much to our amazing supporters, most notably our Solar Eclipse patrons, The Calamity, Cerebral Tag, Trebor and JP Zone TV, as well as our Lunar Eclipse Patreons, Matt Lippard, Chris McCabe, and Lord of July, and our Blood Moon of the Day, Jonah Dent. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Ciao for now.